Hey there, RC Girl here. Today we are taking a look at the CR18P T Hunter from Hobby Plus. This is going to be a very budget friendly little micro crawler coming in at $119. Has some really cool features, portal axles, a really neat battery accessory compartment back here. We're gonna talk about all the features and see how it performs. Stay tuned. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. Here you're gonna find RC reviews, tips and tricks, run videos, flight videos, and other things related to RC. If you don't wanna miss my future videos, make sure to like and subscribe. And I've been doing YouTube pretty much full time now, so very exciting. Huge thank you to my growing community of patrons on Patreon, appreciate all your support. All right, let's dive on in. Alrighty, adventure begins here. Looks pretty cool. So this comes in two colors, like this army green and a more of a tan color. I don't know if that's the best depiction of the actual color. It's more of like a tan. Here it looks kind of green. But yeah, the CR18P. Some of the features here on the box, new design, bulletproof metal gears and front and rear axles, clipless body mount, four channel receiver transmitter, functioning lights, oversized bead locks, aluminum chassis rails, very cool. 45 degree steering angle. Here are some of the specs. The wheelbase is a 158 millimeter wheelbase, coil springs, soft rubber tires. I believe there is an affiliation with Hobby Plus, Fair RC and FMS model. I think one of them's the parent company, not too sure there. All right, here is our transmitter. So if you're familiar with the FMS transmitters, this is gonna be very, very similar, if not the same. We'll talk about this in a second. We got your charger, your instructions pack, a plastic little T-wrench. Looks like a tiny little Phillips head screwdriver. All right, so the CR18P T-Hunter. First, let's talk about some of the exterior features. I really like the look of the screen body. It's kind of um, soft matte finish, hunter green, neat color. Um, and this body is actually not going to be a body that comes off easily. So they made it where everything, the battery and the on and off switch and everything is really accessible from the exterior. So unless you need to work on something or upgrade some of the electronics or something like that, you're not really gonna need to get under inside the internals. So there's, um, well, I'm sure there's a way to take off the body, but it's not designed to really be coming on and off that frequently. We got a plastic molded front bumper up here, kind of these neat little uh, light protector cover things. Got this little protector here for the grill that's integrated into the bumper. We do have integrated LEDs for the front and the rear that are controlled by the transmitter for this budget-friendly RC. Kind of cool that they include that. For the rear, you're also going to get a plastic molded rear cage. Neat that they include a little accessories here like these jerry cans, one on each side, and these faux little tool compartments on the sides. So this is a functional spare tire. You can see here the rear LEDs. We'll turn that on, you can see what they look like, but they're red LEDs on the rears. We have some window decals here, some plastic molded side mirrors, they even have a mirror finish, that's kind of cool. Plastic door handles here. So to access the battery, you just open this little compartment here. The top pops off and it hides your LiPo battery. Kind of neat. A lot of times there's little compartments like that on trucks, but they're not usually functional. So cool that they actually made it functional. And here is your LiPo battery, 7.4 two cell, 600 milliamp LiPo. It's going to be charged with the little USB charger included. Here is the battery connector. A lot of the FMS rigs also use this connector type. Don't quite know the name of that. It is a tight squeeze in there, getting all the cables and then the hatch back on. You have to fit these two notches in the back and then it kind of smashes down. So ah, I was able to do that one-handed. Here is your on and off switch little rubber protected. I'm wondering if that's waterproof. Here are our wheels and tires. These are a 1.2 millimeter rim. Kind of cool that they have these little plastic hubcaps on them. Neat detail there. You got a little tiny nut on there. 
And these are actually a true beadlock. So these are not glued on. We're actually look inside. It feels like there's foam in there. Maybe we're gonna check. There's some screws on the back and you can take the tires off and easily swap them out. So that's kind of cool. Now let's look inside our plastic beadlock. So it looks like there's five Phillips head screws holding this on. Nice. So you got your plastic beadlock rim in there and these actually do have foams in them. Kind of cool. Pretty soft foam here. Um, and the tires, nice, nice soft rubber tires. These are also going to be vented tires. So that means that they are not completely sealed. So if you're running through water, these could get waterlogged, just something to be aware of. And of course you get the spare one on the rear. So if we look at the bottom of the truck, here are our axles. So portal axles, kind of neat. Plastic molded axles on the front and our rears. All right, there we go. Uh, actually, no, so these aren't bearings. These are bushings, metal bushings. It said this is a new design. We're gonna compare this to the FCX24. I have the power wagon, I'll grab that in a second. We're gonna look in here, but it says that these are metal gears on our front and rear diffs. These are going to be lock diffs as well. And these little magnetic screw trays are going to be available on my Etsy very, very soon. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, looking in here, we do have metal gears, which is nice. It looks like also metal bearings, kind of cool to see. And there's some grease in there. You might want to add a little bit more. So if you turn the wheels, all four wheels turn. So lock diffs. This seems to be geared pretty low. So you're gonna be nice and slow for you on the little crawler. Everything here though, plastic links, plastic front steering links. It also has a pan hard, so right here. Neat that they included a pan hard bar. Don't often see that on more of the budget builds. Somewhat flexible plastic front steering links here for our servo. This is a chassis mounted servo. Couldn't really find too much information about it, but hopefully it holds up nicely to this tiny truck. We have a plastic servo horn up there. Links here on the bottom, plastic drive shafts. Our suspension here, these tiny little shocks. Um, these are not going to be oil filled shocks. I don't think they include the little O-rings like FMS does to make these oil filled, but lots of people offer upgrades. Uh, you can kind of see the shaft here um, moving around. So these are not gonna be very high end tiny truck shocks. So might wanna look into upgrading those over time. Because no oil, you're gonna get the bouncy bouncy. But a tiny, tiny little motor. This is a 50 size motor. It's gonna be a 55 turn brushed motor setup. <laughs> also got a little sticker here that it QC pass, which is great. And for our receiver ESC, it is a receiver ESC two in one setup. It's going to be a four channel receiver and your motor, your servo are using two of those. The lighting is on the third channel. So there's actually a spare port, it sounds like, for plugging in something else. Nice that it comes with aluminum chassis rails. These look pretty cool. It looks like most of the hardware is actually Phillips head, so not super hobby grade there. Yeah, and one thing about Phillips head is that it's definitely easier to strip out, so just be really careful. Uh, make sure that you're not stripping out your screws. Here it is next to a couple other micro crawlers. So this is the Hunter, and this is the FCX24 Power Wagon. So, Kind of similar in size, and this is my SCX24 with a hard body crawler coat, hard body on it, kind of cool. Just got this as well. So similar in size to some of these other tiny trucks. T-Hunter is probably the most similar to the FCX24, but the axles are actually different. So you can compare them here. So it is a different design. Um, looks like the shocks are better on the FCX24. So let's take a look at the transmitter. There's some basic functions on here. Your throttle dual rate and your throttle trim. So you can actually turn down the throttle rate. Your steering dual rate and your steering trim. So you can turn, it looks like our steering is all the way up. You can turn that down if you want. You're gonna have like not that much steering. 
we're going to have that all the way up. It says 45 degree angle steering, which let's see that. Nice, pretty good steering angle there. You're going to be able to reverse your steering and your throttle channels. We're just going to keep those the same. I don't know if these do anything. We'll have to take a look at the instructions manual. These transmitters tend to be a little bit complicated with some of the functioning. There's a lot of different trucks that these link to. So I think um, we'll have to look at the manual and I'll put an overlay on the screen if this does anything. But yeah, pretty nice. You could do one-handed driving with it. Alrighty, so I think we are done talking about all the features, time to run this thing. I actually got a new indoor crawler park from Toys WD that comes with a starter kit with a couple features and a play mat. So we're gonna take it on that and it actually stopped raining. It's been raining here nonstop. So we might actually take it outside and see how it performs outside. So let's take it away. Alrighty, all in all, what do I think of the CR18P Trail Hunter? Very cool rig for 120 bucks. So it gets you a lot. You're gonna get portal axles, metal diff and portal gears, plastic beadlock wheels so you can swap out your tires easily. Really nice that the battery compartment is accessible from the exterior. Nice scale details too. I like the look of the body. A couple cons though, the hardware is gonna be Phillips so it's gonna be a little bit easier to strip out. The shocks, eh, not so good. So something I would look into upgrading. Very cool that it comes integrated with LED lighting that's controllable from your transmitter. And it crawls pretty decently. But definitely the price point. I think this is gonna be really accessible for a lot of people, getting people into the hobby, which I really like that. If you're looking for a 118 scale micro crawler, definitely one to check out. I will put a link to this in the description box below. I'll one thing to mention, it does ship from a China warehouse. So it takes around eight to 15 days for delivery. 
If you have some patience with shipping, this is definitely one to look out for. Huge thank you to Fair RC for sending this out to my channel to check out. My next video is actually on the indoor RC crawler park, so make sure to subscribe if you don't wanna miss that. I'll put a link right up here to my next recommended video. I'll see you later.